I wonder if the direction of rotation is not only dependent on one's latitude with respect to the equator, namely, are you north or south of it, but time of year. See, I used to think maybe the second qualification was whether or not you're over land versus sea, but because of the fact that cyclones and anti-cyclones go in opposite directions versus over land versus over sea. But that might be a minor distinction based on the fact that land will heat up the air mass while air will, while water will cool the air mass above it. But what about the seasons of the year? Charlie Lutz used to say that if you die between the summer and winter solstice, you go by the path of the sun, and that's a pretty good path to go. But if you die between the winter solstice and the summer solstice, you go the path of the moon, which is not so good. And he also tied these two halves of the year to the major and minor keys. So the way of the sun is the major key and the way of the moon is the minor key. In other words, the minor key, the way of the moon, is a, is a path of sorrow while the path of the sun is a path of joy because it's waxing versus, versus wanning. Um, well, actually, between the summer solstice and the winter solstice, it's actually a wanning sun, now that I think of it. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I have it backwards. Sorry. No, but to, if you die between the summer solstice and the winter solstice, that's the path of the moon because it's waning. The sun is waning sun's influence. But between the winter solstice and the summer solstice, that's the path of the sun, which in which the sun is, is waxing. Okay, got it backwards there. Um, so maybe the rotation of this thing is not merely geared to whether or not you are north or south of the equator, but also the time of the year. Because I knew that there I sense there might be something wrong with running it in the same direction all, all the time. Um, but this kind of oscillation is biannual. <laughs> it doesn't happen, it, doesn't re it wouldn't reverse too frequently. Now when I first started these experiments back in the fall of last year, 2015, it did not feel right to rotate it in this direction. I, I tried it out this way first and I thought, uh-uh, that doesn't feel right. Well yeah, it was the other half of the year. Actually, it's the same half as, half as this year, now that I think of it. Oh, that's right. This is after the summer solstice, so it's in the same half. Well, maybe this, maybe the half is split at the equinoxes, not at the solstice. Or maybe I was just so out of balance that I felt I needed that extra time spent with it spinning in a counterclockwise direction as viewed from below north of the equator. So here I've reversed the spin wondering to myself whether or not it's due to, for a reversal. And it might be. So I don't really have this down to a science. I'm, I'm just groping here. But, you know, it, it kind of makes sense that it should alternate, but not too often. It's just a question of what direction does it go and when? And to whom? <laughs> And where, you know, <laughs> or where, actually. So um, I'm trying this out now, clockwise, north of the equator. Um, and this is the beginning of July. So the first week of July. So we'll see um, if this feels right or not. Um, if this is the correct direction for this time of year. So there's still some things i got to iron out, obviously. Um, but I have been running it, you know, nonstop, so I got used to it. Yeah, it took some getting used to. So now maybe I can work out direction on a very long-scale experimental basis. What's the correct direction at what time of year, you know, for, and, and versus, you know, uh, you know what pos your position is on the equator, that all that good stuff. My guess is that since I'm north of the equator, what the, anything spinning represents is 
the ideal case, which is over the North Pole. So if you imagine this over the North Pole, this is going in the opposite direction to the spin of the Earth, as seen from below. Because the Earth spins from east to west, right? And here we've got something that if this was positioned over the North Pole, this is going west to east, because I'm in the Northern Hemisphere. So this is going counter to the rotation of the Earth, and this, and the path of the Moon would be the waning path, the path of diminishment, which is counterproductive, or the result of counterproductive activity for the, uh, you know, at the time of death, uh, determining the path of death, the, the path that death should take, you know, because death is a path, um, just like life is a path. So if we go the waning path, it would make sense it would be counter revolutionary, counter to the revolution of the earth. But if I was south of the equator, this would not be counter to the rotation of the earth. This would be in in line with the, the rotation of the earth. So that would, this direction of clockwise as seen from below at this time of the year would be waxing, not representing waxing because it adds to the spin of the earth rather than trying to diminish or detract from it by going counter opposed to it, which is what this is doing for me since I'm north of the equator. Um, so this time of the year, between the summer solstice and the winter solstice, the time of the waning uh, sun, this might be the correct direction to have. And I bet you I was in no position to do this uh, last fall because um, uh, I just wasn't settled in my new location yet. So I can see why I needed to go the other way. Anywho, I, that's my guess, that this is correct for this time of year, to be spinning it clockwise as seen from below and the northern hemisphere between the summer solstice and the winter solstice. Wow, this feels so good. It's such a relief. I feel like a burden has been lifted off of me. So relieving and relaxing. So it shows that it really does need to be alternated in direction. And probably on a biannual basis and probably according to the solstice and according to your position relative to the equator but boy does it feel good oh. this is really cool wow so every time I alternate it, it will bring relief after having a half a year of, you know getting caught up in one particular direction and getting adjusted to that the relief comes in re reversing the direction once you get accustomed to it. Wow, it's, it's beautiful. This is truly beautiful.